<laughs> what is good? We're back. No, uh, no live stream this week, obviously. Uh, but hitting you with a little Thanksgiving special here. Gonna mm. go over some games like we normally would. No Wednesday show. Had some birthdays and a lot of stuff going on. So we'll be back to probably regularly scheduled program next week. I'm, I'm thankful a- for you. I missed a birthday. My wife's birthday oh. and his wife's birthday. And, oh. you mm. know, birthdays all around. Didn't know. Yeah. Uh, but here we are. Um, gonna hit a little, I guess, week eleven. Kind of recap and just do the use, use here. Uh, so that's not what we're gonna call it, though. What uh, you want to kick it off with Thursday night? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, before I forget, be sure to subscribe and like and comment below. Way right. to go, man! All right, so <laughs> the first nailed it game. Dude, we just got like thirty more subscriptions for sure. I don't. That's a lot, but. <laughs> Maybe a couple for sure. Um, we told you to do it, so now, eh, you, now eh, you can do it. Eh, do it. Just need a little reminder. Oh, Titan. you know what? I should subscribe. I should hit subscribe and leave a comment below. Titans Packers. Traylon Burks, baby. It was a nice day from Traylon. A couple of uh, couple of big nice catches grabs. there, yeah. Also Christian Watson. Want to just... Want to see? That was nice to see. You want to just? They tried to get him a couple of little screens as well, some a couple of little shorter things. Mm. You know, that's yeah, but that one at the end over over Jair was nice. Yeah, no, no, he had he had a couple of nice grabs, but oh, that was oh, oh, that was, oh, that, was oh. that was strong, very, oh. very strong, very strong. Um, that that's part of the game that I want to see from him is that catch it and 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 yak afterward yeah. from the sh- from the short or give him some handoffs or. Yeah. If we can start Steady's seeing that kind of work. Deep. Yeah, I mean, we know that that's uh, you mm. know, a very real possibility and should be kind of what's happening in a lot of yeah, cases. Yeah, but we saw a lot of the yak stuff in at Arkansas. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that's that's how I want to see him used. And once that once if we start seeing him used that way, now we can get really excited. Obviously, this is great. Uh, but if you can put the ball in his hands a few more times short or handing it off um, and, and create some some space for him to get a lane going, uh, that's, that's really, I think, when you're going to get the best out of out of um, Traylon Burks here. So obviously Derrick Henry's crushing um, number two fantasy running back PPR. Mm. Um, so, you know, just further myth busting the 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 uh, Aegis Aegis uh, bubble. Um, like I said, we talked about it before. A lot of he's a lot an of, outlier, Casey. A lot of data rolling around. There really hasn't been too many RB one seasons after like the 27, 28 round and and uh, here we have a, a whole bunch of older dudes really holding it down this year and looking super strong. Um, so, you know, definitely was not feeling Derrick Henry in Dynasty, but if you drafted him and could put, a, you know, a couple of decent players around him, you could be in, you know, real win now for the value that you got on Derrick Henry. Henry is, um, looks like he's leading on fantasy Number points. two, RBPPR. Okay. Eight, 13th overall scoring player. But, so, you know, really in this better game, better super flex options, Derrick Henry, the <laughs> quarterback. Uh, Derrick Henry uh, was, was was good in this one, uh, but Ryan Tannehill was, was you know, mm. I literally text Big Co right as he threw that interception. I was like, man, Tannehill is on fire tonight, and he was looking great. And then he threw a pick, and I was like, son of a bitch. I had to say something. Um, but I thought Tannehill played well. He kind of, you know, took the Packers and, and kind of not do what he wanted, but I thought they had a good offense, a good scheme, and Tannehill was was looking pretty sharp out there. Robert Woods was a, a, another benefactor. Bobby Trees about to be Bobby Forest Fires. What uh, <laughs> Bobby preventing Forest about fires? to be lighting it up. <laughs> Jesus, what do you think? The only person that can t- stop Forest Fires is you. Um, but you can talk about it. It's okay. <laughs> Seven targets, six better receptions. Not start one. You know, this was a little bit more pass heavy seemingly than than we've seen. Which is weird because the Packers are a run funnel team. Yeah, well, the the Titans said you're going to bring everybody up here. We're going to check it around. So, um, I mean, you're playing the Titans, so you just stop Tractor Cito. Yeah, um, Hooper's been in, having a nice little sighting here the last couple of weeks. Um, two touchdowns this week. Boy, has he! A um, couple of targets the week before. So. This offense just may be coming to life a little bit here at the right time, and we know they can probably play. selling Hooper and Dynasty though. I mean, if you you're probably not getting anything for them, yeah. but, I mean, you could try. Um, but this is going to be a this going to be a tough out for anybody in the AFC for the sure. for the Titans, and I'd like to see this offense starting to 
you know, Packers D isn't something that anybody's necessarily scared of, but it was nice to see them be able to, hey, we're going to switch the game up here um, and and have a nice plan of attack there and get these receivers. When they're healthy, there's, you know, uh, Oquano, he seems like o- he could Oconquo. be. Oconquo. he seems like he's going to be a lot of fun at some point. Um, yeah. And uh, Hilliard, they caught, caught himself a touchdown on his lone target. So he gets a bunch of those weird little touchdown catches. Red like zone kind couple of. A couple weeks. Oh, yeah. they're Dodger with a touchdown catch. Yeah. So at no, no life for Bobby Woods. No love. I mean, who? Feeling it. Just kidding. I love Bobby Woods, but I mean. What are you? What are you supposed to do with Bobby Woods? Just yeah. hope, hopefully, you're maybe you're getting Start him? getting hot. not not quite yet, but maybe getting a little warm down the maybe stretch. Maybe rosterable here. could be a you know second flex, third flex kind of guy here. Are trade deadlines still? I think in some leagues, open. I, I would say that you shouldn't have. I would them, think but, they should be open still. Uh, but you would say they're, that you should not have trade, trade deadlines. Agreed. That's no. correct. Uh, but some sort of stipulation in the championships and whatnot, right? Playoffs, like. No, I don't no. really care. I mean, you you could. Just if you want to buy a championship, that's if you want to buy a championship, buy a championship. That's yeah, I'm I'm fine with no real regulations and just going. I mean, I've seen leagues where like well, there's been like literally a couple like in the beginning of the playoffs, like there's just an arms race, like people are just buying stuff. Yeah. Way to way to keep it interesting, but it could could be a, a slight problem if somebody was just like going to sell all their plays, players for cheap and then not come back. But, yeah, that's a dick move. But. I think if you got a solid, <laughs> if you got a solid league with, yeah, you know, good dudes, yeah. I think it's fine. Um, other side of this was was the Packers, obviously Christian Watson uh, catching two touchdowns again, being looking like a nice red zone target. If they get if they get a manned up, it's run them down the field and throw a jump ball to him, or mm. just run them across the field because if they get the single coverage on him, you can't really cover him running across the field because he's so big and fast, um, and. Him and Rodgers can build a little bit of a rapport here. Lazard seems to still be, you know, usable. The guy right now that yeah. that Rodgers is going to go to with a little bit more volume. Uh, but it'll be, I really, you know, old man, been, old man Cobb showing some life too. Yeah, for sure. We've really been kind of like, you know, last week I think it was we came on and was like, you know, Aaron Rodgers, a little juice, a little fired up. Obviously, mm. he lost this week. Um, he's got a big contract. We were like, oh, maybe this is Aaron Rodgers last year. He looks grumpy, but. I think if Christian Watson plays well, if Dubs comes back and plays well, um, I think there there could be a little hope for a fun offense coming into next year with Aaron Rodgers if he can actually play with these guys kind of down the stretch. And maybe, you know, this this season stinks, but could be could be a nice little incentive for, you know, happy Rodgers coming back next season with with two guys. Because, I, I, you know, I think Romeo showed enough that he can certainly play in the league and he can get open. Um, he needs to dial it in a little bit. And Watson's showing you kind of what you knew four three big guy um and if he can you know put a couple of the finer things together i think you, all of a sudden you got a pretty good core with lazard in there and and cobb old man cobb like you said hanging around you pick up one more guy you got aj Dillon and, and aaron jones you get that line healthy um i think you know it could be a nice little another run year or two with i think if if roger sees this offense is fun to play with then m- maybe yeah you what's do the point another, of, yeah what yeah i'll go make 30 40 million dollars right. why not well I'm not, I'm not gonna play next year because oh yeah I don't, I don't want that 45 million <laughs> like not saying they necessarily needs it but it's pretty tough to walk away from especially yeah, if it's if it's looking juicy like that so you know a little bit more hope for the packers offense moving forward just at least for one more year to give you to figure it out to see what you might want to do maybe he lost some money in crypto too so might need to <laughs> maybe. Uh, I don't, yeah maybe six six targets for four <laughs> I yards mean, i mean i don't want yeah. ayahuasca cost so i don't think it's super expensive i don't think so either Tar- six <laughs> targets for watson four four receptions 48 yards and the two touchdowns um and the one touchdown was was really you know a good thing to see kind of that that big guy going up and getting it yeah, um, kind of playing with Rodgers a little bit, coming back for him. Mm. Um, so that was Rodgers just you know flicked it up there and look at the flick of the wrist. He went and grabbed it. That was it. nice to see. I mean, it's it's slaying right some, now. Some some positivity Watson. for the Packers possibly going forward for to twenty three and beyond. Uh, you know, they, uh, don't be surprised that they finish at some point on a you know three three game winning streak with a decent offense near the end of the season. Um, so all right, let's get out of that game unless there's anything anybody else wants to talk about. I mean, you you trying to move Christian Watson right now? I, I'd, I'd probably go 50-50 on him. I'd, if I had two shares, I'd sell one, keep one. What would you be looking for? for first, obviously. Probably. Yeah, you got to get the first plus something else. Really? 
First yeah. plus. I mean, you that was basically the cost. Five touchdowns in two weeks. I under, I, what a, well, done was, deal, right? Is I the mean, cost of what he was before he even played, right? Yeah. You know, so now he's played, and now he's pl- like at right. the very least shown you that nobody's saying he's going to keep scoring touchdowns like he is. I mean, but mm, you know, he must have a regression for sure. Get score. <laughs> Five but touchdowns every. He's showing. Two he's weeks. showing. He's showing signs of of having some elite traits if he can hone this all in with. Sure. You know, in a, in a potentially decent offense. I mean, I'm not paying a first plus for Watson, but that's just yeah, me. I think. I think that's what you, you know, what you got to at least be getting. I mean, player value wise, I don't necessarily have that teed up right at this minute. No, Maybe yeah. At some point, it's easy to do throughout pick, this. We would picks find, is the easiest. Picks is the absolute easiest thing um, to do value on. But yeah, you got to get more than a first for him right now. There's just. That's what. That's basically what you. You're paid. saying someone offers you like the 105. You're gonna want something on top of that. I mean, maybe maybe I'm okay with the 105 if that's if that's what it is. Who who are we talking about in that five? Let's say not super flex. So I don't know. Oh, you're I'm looking like at Delia. like probably uh, like a Quentin Johnson, something like that. Not maybe super. like a Zach Evans. Yeah, Sean. I mean, you're. Th- your favorite third. I mean, you could be looking at even a, I mean, maybe Jordan Addis. Maybe I mean, maybe Jordan Addison's fallen. Maybe people don't want Smith and Jig because he hasn't played it all this year. Yeah, I mean, definitely I, some options there. There's some if if you if you could move up near the top four or five four of the of a of a draft, then maybe yeah, I would probably swap out. I could, I'd be okay with swapping out for Watson, but just in general, a generic for like just say, saying we're trading a, a first rounder, like you know. This time of year, you can maybe start assigning value. I, I hate when people are assigning value to, you know, twenty four picks and twenty three picks in the beginning of the season or even in the middle of the season. It's just it's really hard to, you know, dial that in. But yeah, sure. If I could go up to a top four, maybe yeah, maybe I would just do the first by itself. But I mean, what you're seeing right now is is, is no, really, I totally really no, fun. I totally agree. It's like, oh my god! All right, let's go. In girl in tennis, girls wear skirts. Oh my god! Moving That's on. The fucking joke. That guy, Patel, Mitch uh, Fatel. Can't think of the name. Are you want to go Bears Falcons next? Sure. All right, let's go Bears Falcons. Oh my god, Justin Fields. <laughs> we got we got Fields <laughs> versus Mariota, and Mariota comes out victorious. Um, Just finding a way to win this year. Yeah. I mean, Marcus Mariota, just the poor man's Justin Fields. Oh, yeah. you know? That's all it is. Just <laughs> for sure. low Crank attempts, it. scrambling around, 18 garbage shit. 20 points yeah. every single week, even yeah. in the rain during a hurricane on a Thursday night in the road. He had 20 total attempts. He scored 18 points. Crushing it. So, you know, fuck out of here. He will not slide. <laughs> um, so much determination. Where do you want to start here? Who do you want to talk about? You talk about your guy, Tyler Algier. Had a nice little day. 8.55, yeah. 6.9. Looked decent. Yeah. Could be the could be the Falcons' leading rusher in twenty twenty three. He's, I mean, probably Mariota. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's looked better than Patterson since he's gotten back from since Patterson got came back from IR. Except for that kick return. Well, in half the leagues I play, and you didn't even get any points for that. So well, that's real dumb. I don't start this shit. We have some guy in the league bitching his well, ass off. It's always the worst when they're bitching in, in season. But like it, it sucks, man. Move on. It's fine. Let's try to change this after the season. Don't get you definitely should. Have, about, so you're saying return touchdowns? Nothing we can do about it now. Bob. Need to be, but you can't be touchdown. bitching. A, you know he wouldn't have given two fucks if it wasn't if it wasn't his player. Well, sure, but. It always comes up and then it always needs to be changed. So we had to get to a, we had to get a rule change that I got changed that. Um, Jacoby Myers threw a touchdown, and for some reason the league had it on where only quarterbacks got passing touchdowns. Wow. Yeah, I can't do that either. If, if, man, if my dude was score a touchdown, you got to give me them points, dog. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, I mean, you should probably get the touchdown. I'm okay with that return yardage. but No, I don't need the return yardage, but if he breaks I'm, one I'm okay. off. I'm okay. I, I, I'm okay either way. I'm okay either Nothing way. you can do about it midseason. Devin mid-season. Duvernay is crushing in, in uh, return, return yard leagues. yardage leagues right now. He is a... Surefire wide receiver one every week. <laughs> like he is smoking it over there. Sick. All right. Well, Cordell Patterson is not super expensive. They do have a potential out next year for him with three point seven five dead. Um, so I would assume that if Cordero wants to play next year, he'll probably be on the Falcons. But 
if Algier looks better, then um, what was that potential dead? Three point seven five. Um, then maybe maybe Algier gets it. I mean, you know, the uh, the draft capital queens would probably tell you that there's a real chance that they draft somebody other than <laughs> all right over there. Yeah. <laughs> Would uh you know? <laughs> Jeez. Tyler Algier could easily be replaced this this year. I wouldn't know? be replaced. Right, right. So I think that that they'll probably be the two of them back next year. Why? You know? I would think so too. Or or hear me out. <laughs> they draft the second round running draft backs. Fucking, <laughs> they're gonna draft Bijan Robinson. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Arthur Smith said, "Fuck it, we're playing this brand. Watch this shit." Um. Maybe they'll draft him a chin. So interesting running back room there moving forward next year. I'm sure nobody's going to love it. And maybe people will be clamoring for somebody to get added. But Algier, a nice buy, uh, you know, maybe right now just for a future, just to see what, what could happen if as long as it's not too expensive. Yeah. I mean, I'd still pay his cost. You'd pay it too? Yeah. Mm. Spicy. <laughs> I mean, mm. why wouldn't Your I? cars. Send two threes first. Oh, I'd definitely send the third first, but I mean, I don't have to worry about that because I own them everywhere. So yeah, well, it's I'm fine. trying to. It's I, fine. <laughs> I don't well, have to worry about saying anything because I have them in every league. <laughs> second, if I could get the third back, maybe I would give for it Algier. But um, I don't hate it. He hasn't looked terrible, but I'd be fishing around to see if I could find some cheap Algier in a league. Somebody well, who's just over. Don't it. come fishing around thinks me. Thinks they're gonna get replaced. I would never <laughs> fish around you. Um, don't fish around me either. People never catch fish when I'm around. <laughs> I certainly am not going to catch a fish. Obviously, Kyle Pitts injured in this one. So oh, gosh. Maybe like a, maybe giving some people why? fantasy relief. Right. <laughs> not having finally to, bench him. Not having to play him. Um, no, yeah, because you, so you couldn't sit him. Fucking bummer, man. Yeah, it does stink. Um, Might be multiple Is it those MCL shits? injuries? Yeah. No, this is just MCL. Maybe we'll see a little uptick in, in Drake London. He's had a touchdown, I think, the last two weeks. Um, Drake's been startable coming just around. Just because of the touchdown. I went on to, um, uh, I got an email. He saying, had three targets, one reception, two yards, and a touchdown. <laughs> I got his, I got an email this morning from Prize. Great, pri- great play by From Mary Prize Mary. Picks saying that I had $60 in my account. I'm mm. like, how did that happen? All on red. And um, <laughs> apparently I had done a little thing on there. If you pick three players and you guess they're over under. I picked three of them and I got all three of them right. And I got fifty bucks. So it's never I was, that easy though. You have to place twelve bets before you can withdraw. I, well, yeah, that was the thing. So I went on there. <laughs> no, to, uh-uh. I went on to withdraw. The, I went on to the to withdraw the sixty dollars, and it said I had to. I said I had to wager another ten dollars. So I went in there. It, it they had London's over under this week at thirty four and a half yards. Smashed the over on that one. Tractor beam sucked me right in. <laughs> That was a great tractor beam, by the way. <laughs> Everybody's winning. They just need to place 12 more bets. Jesus. They got they, it's the system's rigged. Uh, <laughs> if they, don't worry. I cashed out. I, <laughs> I bet the 10, but I cashed out the 50. So All right. I'm, I'm still even you if I make one bet. No, I, 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 I think I got a promotional $20 for doing something. I don't remember. But I, I couldn't cash out like the a pro- condo uh, uh, timeshare presentation. Or sure. Something? Sure, but I got the twenty dollars for free. Never in my life would I sit through a timeshare. Oh, but what if they offer you something real cool? Fuck off. <laughs> oh, Mount is worth the time spent to do this. No, give me my my terms are give me a twelve pack <laughs> and a, and some ice and I'm gonna get fucking hammered. And <laughs> probably cause more of a problem <laughs> than. It's worth for whatever it is you're going to give me. Give him a 12 pack of Modelo bottles. A couple of tickets to the water park. Fuck <laughs> out. The water, the water park. <laughs> you're pissing on it all the wave pools. <laughs> I love a fucking water park, though. Jesus, he said it again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, now that we can get off that riveting fucking conversation, a little um, Dorney Park action. Oh, for sure, Wild Water Kingdom, Dorney Park, <laughs> holler at your boy. Just fucking around at this point. <laughs> I used to have a season pass. Of that course bitch. you did. That was real close uh, to you. That though. was like fucking daycare. My parents would drop us off there when we were like twelve, <laughs> and just we be like, "See you later." <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did at Hershey Park. <laughs> yeah. Those are amusement parks, Jason. <laughs> All right. So I've been six legs. Sure. Um, how are we feeling about Drake London's? Uh, 
stock moving forward here. Same. Same? Nobody's yeah. nobody's jumped ahead of him. I mean, I already have people know, ahead of him, so it's fine. <laughs> So you really just don't like this guy still? Nothing about it. It's making well, you like he, him so a what? Bit two more catches for ten hurt. yards and a touchdown. I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. It's been a, it's, he's heating up. He's heating up. That arrows. I don't know if he's starting necessarily starting to trend up a little bit. I don't think there's a whole lot of you know Bobby he's, Forest fires over here. And he, he's, he's not he's not Mariotaville, but I mean, yeah. we're talking about a fucking stud rookie here. That's I mean, I, I, I I'm not, I'm just not saying all only he, balls he catches are touchdowns, which I get it. Aggression. <laughs> Necessarily, I get, oh my god! I don't think he's necessarily heating up, but he has shown. He's I think not heating up. I think he's shown he that he is dead. a good player. There's just no, there's not like he Kyle Pitts dead, is over he here struggling to produce in this offense. That's just you know what you see from uh, what's his name, Arthur Drake. Smith. When oh. we're out there, when you're out there watching the games, it's like yeah, that, that 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 dude gets it. If you don't want to move him up too much, then then that's fine. You don't want to move him up at all. That's cool. We can keep him where he is. Yeah. Can't move him up at all. Just a little bit. 39 receptions for 409 yards and four touchdowns. No, nah, listen, man. I'm just like, like, look, obviously, like he's, like he's saying, it's not fun to be in this offense. And, like, you know, he had, yeah, I guess it's just 14.8 yeah. and then seven. But, I mean, like, that's that's some life compared to what he what he was putting up. And look what he was doing at the beginning of the year when they were targeting him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he's shown yeah. he can play. If you give, and, him, if and, you give him the ball, he'll produce. Imagine that. I mean, since week two, he said he's had one game with more than three catches. Yeah, that's not his fault. That's, is that his fault? They're throwing it like Kyle eight Pitts times. Is probably right that's fair. That same that's fair. He doesn't like Kyle Pitts either, though. But they maybe had, just that he didn't. No, like twenty him so attempts high. and they won. This I didn't. Week. I'm not fucking taking Kyle Pitts in the top five of a startup. That's fucking bullshit. Get out of here with that. Hey, it, it's you burned you right here, but it's not the worst. I mean, he still could be really, really fucking good. They get somebody that your favorite rookie white quarterback up in there next year. Not to you keep know, fucking winning and, games. Well, they're, and, yeah, they're definitely not getting. It's true. Uh, Maybe not your favorite, but I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. They're gonna have there. to take a will. They're gonna have us. another. They're gonna have a, a different coach, right? No, no. Arthur Smith's no, fucking coaching the shit out of this team. Yeah, it's not fun, but they can still make the fucking. They can still win their division. I don't think anybody was it's coming in division. thinking Atlanta. Like everybody was putting Atlanta at the at basically the one one next year. Yeah, they're five and six. Like they're right there. I mean, I don't. They're not good by any stretch of the imagination, but they're certainly they're not. Fucking, they're they're. Well, I would say they're overperforming what they got going on on the they're field. They're not the L.A. Rams. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I I would assume that you get either you know we see Ritter next year, or uh, we see you know a free a Jimmy G or you know any yeah. uh, a quarterback could be named uh, later. Uh, so, <laughs> what is a baseball trade? <laughs> I saw someone later. trying to get Lamar to go there. Cause sure. Like, but they're going to franchise tag him, right? Yeah, one like, would assume. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and then on the Bears side, you have Justin Fields obviously getting hurt in this one. Also, you know, pretty big bummer. Um, but the, uh, Eberflus came out today, today and said he was day to day. So. Says day to day, but then it also said that there's a, they, there's a possibility that they shut him down for the year. Yeah. So it's conflicting. He's conflicting his Started own Started off thoughts. with day to day, ended with couldn't shut him down for the year. Yeah. That's um, what the Justin Fields news is. I yeah, guess. sorry, I was looking it up. They got Mariota on the cheap next year, so he could definitely. I mean, he could definitely there. come back, but I mean, yeah, sorry. If they're trying so, to move that train forward, I don't think you should. Jury's out on Justin Fields. You said the vo- uh, bets are void. What'd you say with Justin Fields and the oh, I Bears? Said, I, no, I said the uh, the Cole Komet uh, pie oh. of the face bet. I was two hundred. I'm two hundred yards away with Cole Komet pie to the face. He's obviously been heating up with Fields. And now Fields can't play. I said the, be- the terms of the bet are void. Yeah, but void. wouldn't that be... Who's the backup there? Simeon. I mean, he's more likely to throw the ball than he is to run, but... Yeah, I mean, it, it, it could be good, but it could be a fucking disaster. So the Bears are already pretty terrible. Imagine Fields not running around playing, you know, Superman back there. Yeah. It's going to be tough sledding. But only need 200 yards through the last, what is it, six games? It's, yeah. Maybe seven, yeah. We're, well, that's very doable. So they have their bye week yet? See what's going on. I'm Could be seven sure. games. Could be, um, but you know, Fields another another you know pretty solid performance fantasy wise. That, you know, that's not what, we're, what you're concerned about. But so is it like a labrum? I don't know. Dislocated shoulder. shoulder. I think it was dislocated shoulder. So that's not. I guess it could be. If it's just throwing shoulder, that could be problematic. It's the left one. Oh, okay, so it's non-throwing. Um, okay, but who knows? But you know some. 
some really good some really good tough throws by Fields, and then some. You know, it's just I think it's the he's been. I think the thing you think the thing you want to see with Fields is they're we're, they're seeing we're showing signs of life even from the beginning of the season and from last year. Yeah, I, I, I he he's good on the good on the hard ones and sometimes bad on the easy ones. I think is 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 sort of the best way to describe it for me. I mean, I didn't see the whole game, but I, I definitely didn't see like a bunch of egregious throws. You know, which which wasn't the case early this season. Yeah, I mean, he's oh, he's certainly, and then improved. he does throw dimes. That that, that, that fucking rolling out to his yeah. right and flipping it to oh, Montgomery. Oh 100%. my, hundred percent. Oh my god, he, that's what I said. The the hard ones sometimes look so easy, and sometimes the easy ones look so hard for him. Um, <laughs> so that's true. But it, I mean, if you can make the hard ones, you'll figure the easy ones out. You know what I'm saying? We're still projecting here with not fields, necessarily. I mean, not I, I, not saying that that fields at all. I'm just saying like you don't always figure that out. Some people do. Um, do you want to talk but, about the trade that we made for uh, Fields? I mean, if you want to, yeah, we we traded for Justin Fields. We we're trying to win. What'd you give up? We gave up Stafford. See ya. Uh, nice to know, yeah. Stafford, although probably decent by candidate. Stafford, honestly, Dotson, right and our first. Stafford, Dotson, and a first for Fields. Fields, yeah. Projected late first without Fields, but yeah, but without Fields. But yeah. dislocation, how long does that take? Is that like just a you know? Who knows? They said it was day to day or possibly IR. So I mean, it could go any fucking way. No reason to put him out there if you're. Yeah, if, if, I guess, if he's not man. right, and he he's really shown yeah. that you just need to get stuff around this man. Like, yeah, right? for sure. Like you, you would, you would hope that you know they're gonna make the right moves in this off season and 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 give him a little fortress of solitude to to throw behind and uh you know and, and some some help in the receiving offensive game. line i think is what he was getting at yeah i was like what are you talking about is he fucking <laughs> superman <A> fortress <laughs> you our arrows will blow out the sun um what was it 300 <laughs> <laughs> but no i mean the the uh so that was Good you call. Know, what do you think of the value on that trade <laughs> let's let's pretend he's not on ir <laughs> yeah yeah, and if he's playing this week, I this think whole I thing's think, void. It's void. I mean, I think it's fine. You gave up basically three firsts for Justin Fields. Uh, uh-uh. not quite. Stafford, you can't get a first for Stafford. Yeah, I mean the way in Superflex. No, nah, no way. The way I look at it, yeah, I'm I mean, trading you a first for a thirty-four year old quarterback who's sucking right now. Stafford's no value way. is in the tank right now. That's yeah. Okay. So dead. so two firsts in a second. Right, and so I'm one of the only people that's valuing. And Dotson who's valuing Dotson at a first? first. Right, and, you know, I I like maybe, that. Maybe you are now, but nobody's valuing like Dotson missed a chunk of time. He scored some touchdowns. Nobody likes that. Only scoring touchdowns. No one likes that. I like Dotson. I would gladly put the value out of first. I wouldn't sell him for less than a first. Um, yeah, but probably not getting a first for him if you try. To I don't think. Sell him. I think that we were probably selling on the down value under that. So like, I'm not looking at it that way. And then the first. So, that's the when you kinda, when you put it that way. That's the way I kind of added that math up in my head. No calculator necessary. Did we get somebody back or just Fields? No, we just got it was Fields. Just in Fields. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So made it made a move for him. Obviously, the fantasy points are good. Trying to win championships. Oh man, those um, fantasy points are so good. He had so, a down week of twenty four points. Yeah, but I mean, you can't you can't be running them like you've been running them. You can't, clearly you can't have them be Jesus Christ. What he's, settle down. What they're you know been asking him to do or and what he's lose. been trying to do. Um, you know, you gotta you gotta keep it a little more guarded than that, especially you know with he's, what could be moving. I forward. mean, he's on pace to break the quarterback rushing record for the yeah. season. Just getting banged around, um, and he he does he, try to slide some. He shouldn't he shouldn't stop doing it because it needs to be a part of the game. But he just needs to you know do a little bit less. A tactic more out there. Yeah. But hard the out times there when he pin. extends it and does stay behind the line of scrimmage and makes throws like that third and twelve play was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, he'll make ridiculous. he'll make a great one for sure. Um, what what game you want to hit next year? Panthers Ravens, that sounds like no fun. Uh, nope. <laughs> um, Sammy D starting for the Panthers, so maybe a little bloop bloop for uh, <laughs> old DJ old, Moore. Old can of beans. Yeah, can of beans. DJ Moore might get a little. Uh, yeah, I mean, beginning of the season last year with with Sammy D, he got peppered. Um, I don't have those numbers in front of me, but then yeah, yeah he was, was starting pretty good. Um, Carried his numbers and average. Terrace the Marshall, rest of the year. No, another ten fantasy points this week. Yeah, I mean, sure, we could stop on Terrace for a minute. I picked, scooped him up a, a few weeks ago in a couple of leagues. Just been putting him on the bench because there is signs of signs of life there. You throw it at a at a guy who's that size with that kind of speed, and you know, good things may happen. So, 
a little bit of life breathed into uh, Terrace Marshall. I think we talked about it in, a, I don't know if it was the last show or the show before. Like, what, um, I mean, you give a third right now for Terrace Marshall? I mean, I guess you kind of, I mean, I think he's more of like a like a throw-in player. Let me also, hey, let me get Terrace Marshall yeah. on this trade. See, I... I was. I'm not opposed. If someone offered me, here's Terrace Marshall for your third round pick. I'd probably be like, accept. Here, you can definitely have my third round pick for Terrace Marshall if you're offering me that trade. See ya. Come on, Terrace Marshall. Yeah, think about it. I can't say it's some ash. Accept. I mean, who, he's not getting too many third round offers, but like, you know, I would be willing to like try and get him as an addition. Sure, I'm, I'm scoop and score. I'm fine with him and and trying to get throw ins and deals for sure. But I'm okay with with. I really like the talent, so I'm okay with it. Would you pay two thirds? Uh, probably not right at the moment. I'd probably try to figure something else out. Not that it's really like necessarily a deal breaker, but I'd be trying to figure out how to if I could if if I sent it for a three and somebody took it, I'd be I'd be pretty stoked to throw him on the squad. I think there's there's a little bit of life there. Sure. Um, Definitely more than it was at the beginning of the season. Decent decent draft capital and uh decent you know, overall uh I think a pretty solid player. Um and, and, and could be really you know, we we didn't get to see much of him year one and now he's getting some run and he's not he's certainly not useless. Yeah, um, for sure. So uh Ravens Robinson crushed for uh for the Ravens, but this is just an ugly game with the Panthers there. Browns Bills, um 31-23. Move game move the game to Detroit. Um shout out to another nice DPJ day. Just fucking DPJ. Got a, got your touchdown. First touchdown of the year. Was it? Look at you keeping track of those things. He was he was the um uh highest yards from scrimmage that hadn't scored a touchdown. It was DPJ. Deep no no more. Just for the record, Devin Duvernay did not score well this week, but that was a terrible game for the Ravens. Uh, Awful. Yeah. Did, but, they have, did, did they have like six points like the fourth quarter at one point? Yeah, it was like 3-3. Three, three. So yeah. Yeah. DPJ averaging 10.2. DPJ, yeah. he made a play yes on Sunday that was wild. Like he, He's like, good. I've seen him make those plays before. And, he, and he's about to get a quarterback upgrade. It was upgrade. like a sideline Normally catch good. Normally. Like back shoulder fade. You go up and cue the... Uh, you get you sending seconds out for DPJ before the levy breaks. Should have, should have been already. Two Se- second easy for DPJ. Yep. I mean, that's when you probably have to send the, the stat line along with to get that second. I'm not selling him anywhere. I have zero. What? what that what, was more saying buy him first. Yeah. Second. What would be the point of selling him right now? Would you would you be interested in buying him first? I was saying, saying buying like him if you first, did try before. to sell him, people probably don't know. So you probably can get him for the second. Is what I'm saying. I like, think I think some people would definitely come off him for a second. I think some people would probably want to. Hold I had him in I had him in one of my big leagues. My, one of the leagues I'd be to be more important. I traded him to get Algier. So if you had Donovan Peoples Jones on your team, would you sell him for a second round pick? Jason and the team we co in together were not selling him for a second. I mean, I don't hate it. We've been giving DPJ some love here for. I do. I like him. Yeah. I mean, all, really, all all off season, all 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 in season. Just you, you think you're gonna get a first for him? Ever? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. You might be able Let's to hold the phone. I mean, no, but I'm saying that's why you don't sell him right now, right? You're saying like his value is still. Gonna he could need to go it, sure or he could just be up. <laughs> really usable, <laughs> Watson. Yeah. That would be why you don't sell him. He's still pretty young, right? Yeah, yeah, he's in his third year in the league, I believe. I don't know. Look right behind you. DPJ. Uh, I don't think he's going to get DPJ. Right, he's right there on the on the whiteboard right behind you. I know, but I want to see that. I'm going to pull it up for the f- listeners here, for the viewers. All right. Well, you guys scrounge up some DP da- DPJ data. Uh, he's 23. Yeah, mm. no, I, I mean, we, we got you got to be stoked about that. So Matt give, says send. Give up the second. Second before you get, before Deshaun comes back. Was that his first, that was his first TD of the year, right? Uh, yes, it was, sir. 
Been buying low on the Browns Ding. offensive players as much as you possibly could all off season and, and throughout the season just because you knew at some point hopefully you're getting, you know, a top end quarterback back here and by quarterback the end, back. By, by the end of the season. Quarterback you back, 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 <laughs> back. He's had two bad games, man. Yeah, the the last like what is he at the last like he's, seven he's last, peaking. The last five weeks he's caught at least seventy yards, right? He's peaking. He's except for the past week, but he caught a touchdown. So I mean, shit, go back to week four. There's seventy, but and there's the fifty. But yeah, just overperforming, especially with this whole offense. Like they, they're like getting all theirs at the end when they're not gonna win. It's I don't care when you get it, as long as you're getting sure. it. Sure, and and the thought is that I think after week twelve, they'll have had their bye. Watson will have served the eleven game suspension. He'll yep. come in week thirteen versus Houston. Yeah, Texas. I mean, if I'm a better team, I would for sure send that two all day. Hopefully, he keeps scoring the points he is, and it could go up. And I'll, hopefully, this will be a late second, and I can use him at the end of the year with Watson. Mm-hmm. Um, so What's that I'll, schedule for the end of the year? I like that. Ah. Fuck your schedule. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Settle down, denim, damn. I mean, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> um, are these clothes on the are these clothes on the floor clean or dirty? They're dirty. Okay, thanks. That usually says to me that you're gonna do the laundry for me. Mm, Go upstairs. Sounds like not done. Sounds like family. Tampa, Houston, Cincy, Baltimore, Saints. Yeah, you don't want to trade for him. That schedule. Yeah. <laughs> It looks great, especially in Dynasty. <laughs> um, like especially in Dynasty, I could really give a fuck about the schedule. I was just curious what it was. That's fair. fair. That's fair. fair. I looked. I, I went and found thank the you answer for, for thank you for for right. you. Let's keep it moving for, past that game. I want to stop by the uh, stop by the Eagles game here real quick. Um, Woo! Humdinger! Humdinger! <laughs> Your wife must have been going crazy. Uh, yeah, she was. She was. She was pretty. Uh, there was. We opened a second bottle of champagne during that game. Nice. Because um, it got stressful um, for her. I don't Once you fuck. start drinking mimosas, you can't stop with these things. Yeah. The, the <laughs> second. That, uh, if you're sharing mimosas with a bottle of champagne, you probably have to open another one. Oh, yeah. I would be. I would, I'm going to stop drinking ex- orange juice for sure. After yeah. Like the first half the of orange the bottle is just of champagne. For, right. Orange juice just for color. You just get it. Yeah. A little color. <laughs> I like grapefruit, too. Yeah, sure. Maybe a little mango. Mm, well, what are we making bellinis no. now, boys? That's a peach. <laughs> mango. Well, I guess if it was like real mango juice, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I saw like mango flavored shit. Mm. I don't really like. I don't love mangoes. Oof. I would eat a mango though. A good ripe mango. Oh yeah. We got some good grapefruit right now. I've, I've missed like. I've got it's a been grapefruit a long time we, since I. I got a grapefruit tree in my yard. Mm. Nice. Just bought it. Says so there's no fruits on it, but. Mm. Mm. Eventually. Think. Fruits of your labor. Let me get some. I got uh, some blueberry bushes. <laughs> nice. Pretty exciting. The you did? Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, we're going to go nuts with the fruit trees when we're done with this house. The uh, Maybe some figs. You get figs you around some, here? You said what? Some figs. Oh, okay. Like a Newton? Yeah. All right. Rid I want to hit this Colts game basically just to hit you with a little Paris Campbell, maybe another guy. Yeah. You know, not so much in the DPJ that you think there's a huge potential explosion coming, but you... You've, Paris Campbell with Matt Ryan has been oh very God. solid uh, for the last few games since Matt Ryan's you know been playing, yeah. even before Matt Ryan stopped playing. Um, so a nice little player to target to round out your season if you're maybe chasing something to that isn't going to be a you know next year's draft killer, but maybe could add a nice little piece of depth um, and and you know can can get you ten, but if he scores, he could get you twenty. Um, but he's the kind of guy where I'm sending you a third and I might trade for two thirds. Yeah. Might. I mean, might there's, you know, probably I, w- I could let him go for a two, I guess. I if mean, I'd let him go for two to, all day. Somebody wanted to sell me a two. I really like Paris Campbell. Um, I like the player and what, what could be. And I think we've seen it in a couple flashes and, you know, to my own detriment that you should probably take the two, but you know, I like that. He's been, if he's been healthy this whole season and when he, you know, when Matt Ryan's in there and has gotten adjusted to the offense, he's been fucking solid. Yeah. Uh, but Pierce. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think I think that's I think my concern is I like Pierce. So. Well, so Paris is Campbell. Paris Campbell's contract is up after this year. Oh, OK. Then um, never. So, then. so he can move on. They could obviously bring him back if they like him and he fits what they're doing. Uh, but I was going to say I was going to use that as Alec Pierce is probably good 
uh, you know, somebody to go after who hasn't really been producing necessarily fantasy points. Eight targets this past week. Right. But there's it's there and we know that he, he can produce and that he belongs out there. Matt Ryan will target him. It just hasn't quite really spilled over into consent, you know, really linking together good performances. Yeah. Um, so maybe Alec Pierce is, is, you know, potentially somebody would sell at cost. Probably, you know, the two for Pierce. Yeah. Um, you could probably buy for less than that right now, though. I, and think. I think, you know, he yeah, can, I mean, if DPJ's a two, Alec Pierce can't be that expensive, right? No. I, I mean, I, I would think that you would probably want what he, he's shown enough that I think not have to go down on, in cost of what you paid for to start the season, right? I mean, I think I'd rather have DPJ or Pierce right now, though. That's fine. I mean, sure. They both can be worth twos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A better two, though. Oh, oh well, Lottie fucking die. <laughs> All right, let's keep Projected it. Projected one nine. Let's keep it moving here. Two um, nine. We got, you know, bad bad day for Damian Pierce. So, you know, great great day for all the haters for Damian yeah. Pierce. They were really reveling really in the out sun of the woodworks. There. Did you? Uh, uh, I'm sure there was, you know, some dildo out there. Through it. Is Twitter you, still so. a thing? Twitter's, that, Twitter's still around. Still works. Um, Logan Thomas, if he's out there in some deeper leagues, he's Enjoy. he's got some targets since Heineck since he's been back in the lineup and Heineck he's mm. been in there and he had another decent week this week. You know, hopefully getting healthy. He's always been a pretty decent kind of under the radar tight end. Um, if he can, he's just been kind of marred by injuries. So a nice little pickup here at the end, or even if you, maybe you need a little bit of tight end value each week, see if you could maybe pull off a cheap. I think there's tight end just is abysmal right now with just all the injuries. I we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. Um, but <laughs> Uh, uh, Zach Wilson's uh, garbage, and he's might be benched. Patriots won that one. Yeah, Moving along. Um, I don't. I don't like to just say people are done with their careers. There's still plenty of Zach Wilson to be played, but um, just just not good. Not really seeing much improvement. I think is really the. the biggest I think you might even problem. be seeing some uh, regression. Regression. Um, so lay yeah. off the moms, my guy. We'll see what happens with with that situation, but. You know, with a different quarterback, you might get some value back to the yeah offense. Maybe go, maybe go poke around on a little Mike White. Mike White, um, yeah. I mean, I would assume it would be Flacco, but sure, why not? I mean, I mean, yeah. You know what you have in Flacco. I mean, yeah. Shout out to uh, Ramondre Stevenson. Um, yeah, I believe he is RB nine on the season right now in PPR. So good for him. Really, after week three. Um, Pretty solid game log there, so I think, you know, he's Damian been, Harris had him a nice little day. He though. did. He did have a nice little day, but but uh, Ramondre is getting get consistently getting the pass game work and getting you know touches in the belly there. So I really like what's going on with Ramondre. Like you phrased that. <laughs> What's well, poor phrasing? Um, I, I should have said gut. I dummy sticks. <laughs> yeah, painting was a gift. Keep it <laughs> painting. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he just goes eh. <laughs> um, so you know Ramondre really bolstering some confidence in me moving forward with the way they're using him and, and what he looks like um, I thought on our Pete or on by ranking show I might have had him a little too high but I think I'm happy where I feels had him feels good right now baby feels like 98 <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, let's feel so good when he jokes. <laughs> Dave, Damian Harris could have a little bit of value on him. He's probably could possibly go in somewhere else next year, and maybe he's a little low. I think <laughs> and, to, a, and to ruin another backfield, <laughs> he's a pretty good player. Like I think, if, if given the chance, which you know, I mean, at this a point, lot of guys are. But at this point, I, I mean, decent, you kind of the it might be great for the Patriots to resign him and keep in the role he's in now. Well, well sure, for sure, that could possibly. Jason said that a while ago. I hate um, it. It's probably but what's going to happen. It could possibly happen, but I'd be willing to poke around, see if there's cheap Damian Harris out there. All right, let's go Rams, Saints, Hut Hut. Um, Vindicated. We got a little, I know this is where you wanted to go a minute ago. Oh, Juwan Johnson. Everyone everywhere. Tight end six. Tight end six. You're listening to me fucking 10 or weeks ago. seven or something along those lines. Um, but very strong. We were we were probably a year early on Juwan. Had Juwan everywhere. Had him left over on some teams from last year, so that's always good. Liked Juwan, uh, beginning of the season, athletic. Uh, I've been on Juwan for years. Switch over to converted uh, wide receiver to tight end here. A lot of athleticism. Uh, been big definitely on, big on the TikToks too. Didn't know that. Um, 
But <laughs> once it makes its way to Instagram, then I'll know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, really, really getting some love, getting some run without the full complement of receivers out there, and now maybe has built himself a little. Well, I think they they cut Nick Vanette because he signed with the yeah, I Giants. Don't know. I mean, they got Troutman, yeah, right, Troutman and and Taysom, but. You know, I, I Juwan's looked great out there. They've needed him. He's 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 been what they needed. Yeah, um, he he's got, based, he yeah. got Jarvis back this week. I don't think Michael Thomas is coming back, so I think Ray ain't coming home. You know, yeah, I mean, I mean, just put Juwan in the Michael Thomas poke role. around, poke around. I mean, maybe you know, maybe not quite that usage, but I mean, just kind of that same that big bodied wide receiver. I don't know if anybody will give you, you know, low value on Juwan because they don't believe in him. But I'd poke around on it. Why not? You know, I'm not saying go pay a two for him. But um, you know, start start three, sending offers you need, you and need seeing more than a three, huh? Three, two threes. I, yeah, I don't think I don't know that the three is getting it done necessarily. But some people might just be like, you know, it's a fluke and we don't give a shit. And I picked them up for nothing, and I'll take the third. So I'd prod around a little bit because some people are going to be low on that value. Some people definitely don't even realize that he is what he is. Yeah, and they might even be he might even be on their team, just maybe not playing. Um, it's, you know, the, with the landscape of tight ends, he's probably playing after. You know, several weeks of being pretty decent. Um, he has gotten some fluky stuff, though. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I mean, he's th- like that touchdown he had. That was a lot. How many? Ca- Those aren't even tight end premium numbers, right there. Those How many nice catches numbers. did he have the, uh, not last week, but the week before against Pittsburgh? Seven. Five, five, okay. seven targets, five catches. And he had that one touchdown late when they thought he was out of bounds. I mean, he's had one, two, three, four, five touchdowns in the last five weeks. Oh, Pretty double vindication that means for he's you. Not good, right? Feeling good about this matchup. Rams cut ties with Henderson, so you feel really good about that, huh? Sure do. Mm. Just hate your own players. I wonder where he's going to land. I hated him in the pre-draft process. So. Interested in the landing and then spot. Then you got to totally uh, you got to you got to welcome him with open arms. Fuck him. He wasn't welcome in the first place. How we welcome him back? That's, you know. Mm-mm. Yeah. I hope you poked around on Kyron Williams like two weeks ago. That's what that boy said about Mace. Dipset. Bitch. I hope you poked around Kyron Williams like two weeks ago. Um, when he's repping time. I played, paid two thirds for him in a S- league that S- I was do- competing in. Do- so um, Henderson out of here v- seems like it would probably be a vote of confidence there? towards what? Kyron. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of weird him? that they just cut him. Yeah, he hit two, he hit two carries this past week uh, right now. But Akers, vote of confidence for Akers a little bit, vote of confidence for maybe what they're seeing out of Kyron. Maybe even some little Ronnie Rivers. Sure, old little Ronnie Rivers. Um, so you know, I I bought Kyron in every draft I could because nobody liked him by the end of it. So uh, let's go. Yeah, that four. Did you know he ran a four six five? Mm, did I? He can't be. So did Alvin good. Kamara. Mm. No, Kamara. I think he had a four five six. He was a four six. Fives. I thought it was a four six one. He's in the fives. Fucking nerds. Um, <laughs> Lions. I am definitely a nerd. I've spent my whole life trying to not. Give away that I'm a nerd. Lions, Giants, Wandell goes Four, down. Four, five, three. You're correct. Sorry. Carry but on. Slayton's been really five, good. Three. Ten mm. targets in this one. Oh, uh, Wandell. Can we pour one out for yeah, my yeah. fucking homie? Go trade for Wandell. Go trade for Wandell. Somebody's mad that they just lost Wandell, um, and they need to fill a void, possibly, that they were really counting on Wandell filling, and maybe they've just been hanging around a little bit. Need the second flex out of Wandell. Need the third receiver out of Wandell. Oh, he was uh, go get twenty-four Wandell PPR who's points upset just right now. Left you out with a nice taste in your mouth too. Mm-hmm. Um, so Slayton for 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 cheap, very cheap. Slayton for a third. Trying to make a run here, get some depth. I guess not sexy depth. I know nobody gives a shit about non-sexy depth, but it, the, the, but we won a fucking championship last year by picking Treadwell up for a dollar and plugging him throughout like the fantasy fucking playoffs. So Ten points, baby. Some, sometimes it just takes that guy at the bottom of the roster who's getting the targets and can, you know, even, even if it's just a touchdown one week or just could get you 10. It just doesn't fucking kill you when it gets into those playoff times where you're just not getting, you know, fives and sixes and ones and garbage. Like, you know, get there's 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 an OK offense here and there's targets here and Slayton's been pretty good, um, even with Wandell in there. And, you know, so. Yeah, I, mean, I think I, mean, I would I mean, assume I mean, this who is else, the end of his contract. I mean, who else are they throwing the ball to? Certainly in Kenny G. I'd th- I'd throw th- if I got a really any team, I'd be fine with a third. But if I got a winning team right now, man, you, you go, go just cheap 
depth why it doesn't ruin your draft next year you like, could probably give a 24 third try to try to try to figure that out to throw him on the team if it doesn't work out whatever he's probably on another team next year and it seems like he can play he's always been plenty fast he's um, only he's about to be 26 but he's that's fine free agent unrestricted head he's always been when he when he's out there he makes plays yeah he like he's it. a good downfield receiver and can get some short intermediate intermediate he's a, he's a good wide receiver three Good well, he's getting there. there, like, and he has been. I meant on a, I meant, His, I, I meant on like a real team, not on your fantasy team. Yeah, I mean, he's I, been a decent wide receiver three. I think he could be. A I wide. mean, look at this game log. This thing is, this is nice, right? No, it started nice. off bad, not getting any playing time. Zero zero two. Then it was thirteen two. So you're like, ah, back to that shit again. But then fourteen, eleven point six, nineteen point five, thirteen point six, slaying. For your wide receiver three, it's, sl- it's Slayton, not Slayton. <laughs> yeah, Slayton. Not, not, not to be confused. <laughs> um, all right, let's let's get out of that game. We'll skip Broncos Raiders because who cares? Um, <laughs> let's go Cowboys Vikings. Um, Devontae's a stud. That's the only thing. About maybe, maybe get to one more game. Um, Cowboys Vikings. I mean, didn't see this one coming. Didn't. didn't oh see my a, gosh, a shellacking like that. Uh, but. Dak was 22 of 25, 276. I like the way the fucking Cowboys offense played here. I mean, this is this is what I want to see. Like, don't 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 get too fucking crazy. Don't get too fucking carried away. I thought the Pollard usage was fantastic. I think using utilizing him in the best ways possible. Um, and then Zeke grinding out some gritty, dirty shit. Um, I, I think you know. Imagine if he didn't. If Pollard would have had those goal line carries. Yeah, I mean. Uh, would have been a monster day, but those the, the pass work that that they were getting out of Pollard, the mismatch that they can get with Pollard. Um, well, what a novel idea! Throwing the ball to Tony right, Pollard, which I don't know why it even like why you weren't doing that always and forever with Tony Pollard. Yeah, that's what we wanted. That's what everybody wanted it to be. Um, he's not a receiver, former receiver or anything. So yeah, you know, I don't think he could catch. Um, but I really like what we saw here. Obviously, Pollard doesn't have a contract next season with the with the Cowboys. Um, Zeke does a lot of dead money with Zeke next year if they cut him. I I think what we could be seeing here is Zeke restructuring, getting staying on the team. The fucking Jerry and the Cowboys love this man. Um, Jura loves him some Zeke, and he's not. He's probably not going to get a ton of money elsewhere. The Cowboys will probably still pay him half decent to be there, and then clear up some room to give to Tony Pollard and maybe try to keep him around. Yeah. Um. And and you know this offensive line's playing a lot better. Um. They they had some you know tough, tried and true guys go down. Um, Sounds like they might be getting some more resources coming in here shortly too. Odell. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Um. But you know this is a. This was a fun team this week. I like the game plan. I like the way they worked. Um, you know, keep it simple, man. You got a really good defense. Run the fucking football. Make the easy throws. Play the mismatches. Like this, one, this is what we need. And Dak was, you know, seemed like he was running around a little bit on three for sixteen. You know, if we can get a little bit of the Dak kind of running around a little bit, Dak back. You don't have to do anything crazy, but just to get that one more little dimension that hey. I could pick up the third and six, no problem, um, or the second and eight, or whatever. If you give me a chance, and and you know, then be dangerous, and just give you one more thing to think about, which we haven't. I don't think we've seen necessarily since the big injury mm-hmm. um, of, of kind of what Dak was doing and making him so enticing fantasy wise to get you know a little bit more rushing uh, upside. You know who's been disappointing this year? Dalton Schultz, Michael Gallup. Mm hmm. Yeah, he, he he didn't seem quite right. Four Does targets in this right, game for yeah. 41, so not the worst. Um, but you were hoping back in the lineup there would be a little bit more. Um, but I thought Cowboys efficient. Cowboys look good. Vikings look bad. I'm not really sure why they didn't ride Dalvin a little bit more, especially in the beginning of this game. Um, but good news for your, your Hawkinson shares, just targets stay through the roof. So, you know, Hawkinson looks like a good uh, – Good to go for the rest of your fantasy season to really help you out here. Um, not sure that you can necessarily trade for him right now, but if you're looking for a tight end going into the fantasy playoffs, he, he's one that's seemingly getting the value that, you know, 
how good the good is. So you're probably maybe willing a little bit to overpay, but I don't think it's crazy, gotten crazy expensive yet uh, again on Hawkinson. Yeah, because he hasn't scored. Any, if, I think if he would have scored some touchdowns, it would be yeah. getting there. But he just had like a zero, right? It was I don't know if it was zero, okay. but but he had you know a lot of targets. So good to go there. You liking you liking Tony Pollard? Uh, he he's gonna. If they continue to use him the way they are and Zeke stays banged up or out of the lineup even, um, you know, that's going to be – he's going to be on a lot of league-winning teams. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know no one cares about my fantasy team, but I just got shellacked by Tony Pollard. Dude traded a two and a three. Oof. And got Tony Pollard and a Oof. four back. You want to hear about shellac? plugged them against you wanna hear, Tony. You want to hear about shellac? I had to start Samaj P. Ryan in the league this past week. <laughs> And a ball like swoosh. I was like, I what, what? smoke that swoosh. I was like, oh, what? I'll start P. Ryan. Maybe he'll get. Maybe he'll catch a couple passes. He caught a couple passes. He sure did. Old uh, Mixon went out, and P. Ryan, uh, you know, looked balled good. out. <laughs> Shout out to P. Shout Ryan. Shout out to the ro- Shout out ricochet. to the whole fucking P. Ryan family, baby. The ricochet romance. All two of them. <laughs> sure, I'm sure. There's more than two of them. Well, I'm the uh, NFL but- players. Current and former. Shout out to the Michael. All right, let's 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 wrap this thing up here. Hold um, on a second. What, what do you think about that trade? Two and the three. Oh, I not, mean, I just said it's a terrible trade. What is what is Tony Pollard worth right now? You traded a two and a three for Pollard? That's more than fine. No, but like, that's no, that's what my opponent did. Oh, yeah. That's a bummer. And got Pollard and plugged him against me. But I'm saying, like, what is Tony Pollard's, like, after this, after the, you know, because you might, you might have been a little down. Zeke's coming back. Oh, bummer. And then all of a sudden, it's a barrage. Every time you look, Tony Pollard scored a fucking touchdown. I'm like, is that a replay? That's, that's a new play? That's uh, a new fucking just, play. Just, just some, kept new plays. Just touchdown plays. We're running the touchdown play to Tony Pollard. Sick pass work with, with Tony Pollard, man. Two and a three seems fine for Pollard. That's two and a three that's, seems very cheap. It's very yeah, cheap. I'd probably give two seconds. Two I mean, twos. I, I think two twos should be the jumping off point. And then we 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 got to figure something out. I probably need a player back. So and, he's too old to be worth the first. I'm not saying not necessarily. At 25, I mean, he'll be 26 going into next season. So that's you know that's basically dead for a running back as far as might as well dynasty be. players go. Um, but you know low lower tread. But I think I'd be you know fuck it if I'm if I think I'm going to a championship here, the way that Tony Pollard's playing and the way that Zeke is definitely hurt. Um, <laughs> he's not healthy. Um, so. I'm, I'm, I'd be fine with giving up that that low end potential low end first if I'm a you know a top four in the scoring team and just looking to add yeah sure why not like that especially if I have a second first I mean for sure if I have a second first that's a no brainer even if I just have one like just to try to win and it's not like he's gonna die he's he's twenty yeah. he'll still be twenty six which I isn't tread the, which isn't the best but I mean. He doesn't need Catch to be. His ball. He's, he's also six foot two ten. Like that's not yeah. a small guy. Yeah, and he but he also doesn't need to be featured as a as a twenty no, he twenty doesn't. carried guy. Like you can you know he can have a more give him, Eckler give him like twelve usage, and twelve and five you know, Kamara like usage. Give him you know double digit carries and then throw it to him. You know low double digit carries sure. and throw it to him. Um, and you could ride him if you had to. I think they did last week. Um, so um, yeah, I'd be fine with especially if I'm trying to. You know, on the cusp. But why would you try and win? I mean, I know nobody, just, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to, in dynasty, you can't give up a first for anybody, but like the best guy ever. So I mean, Tony, I'm not trying to win one. I'm trying to win three. Okay, so. yeah. in, in 2037, right? <laughs> <laughs> so hard to win one. Like go fucking win one. But all my guys are under 25 though, so whatever. Right. Fuck it. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, the, usually that's reserved for like other kinds of memes with the. Anakin Skywalker and Princess Leia yeah, and yeah, the progression yeah. of them talking to each other. I saw a Dynasty Twitter one. It wasn't the worst. Padme. It's not, it's not Princess Leia. Yeah. Or Queen oh, right. It's not Princess Leia. It's a young Princess Leia? No. 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 <laughs> it's Princess Leia's mom. <laughs> That's Princess Leia's mom. That's Anakin's baby mama. Right. All right. Hey. This coming from the guy that likes the ones the the newer ones better, right? I like Oof, ouch. I put don't know on, who put him out on blast on TV. Who's who's hit, who's uh if I, I I thought that Padme was Princess Leia. What's worse? Liking the second three ones? I like all the or, I like the first three. They're they're fine with me. Like, what about the new new ones? I haven't uh, seen them. Um uh, 
Haven't seen them. Yeah, I'm not a big Star Wars guy. The spinoff right now is the one on Disney. The the Andor is really good. Andor. Uh, but the one, the movie, I don't know which. There's a couple of new ones that I don't exactly know the name. Uh, the of. only new one I've seen is the New uh, Rebellion or something. The only new one I've seen has been Rogue One. Yeah, I think that might be the one with with this character <clears throat> in it. Rogue One, maybe. And then there's that's kind of like different from the other three. Yeah, that that one was that one was pretty good. Star Wars nerds just tuned out. They're like, these guys don't know what the fuck. That one was probably my favorite of like the new new ones. Was that offshoot one, and then two out of the three newest ones were 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 pretty good. One of them I didn't care for. Um, Boba's Fett. Are you talking about the movies? Movies. The movies. Movies. Anyway, um, Chiefs. (laughs) Chiefs. Chargers. Great game. Whole lot of fun. Obviously, Kelsey balled out. Um, <laughs> I had I had to choose between starting Mike Williams or Keenan Allen. <laughs> I had Keenan going to another league, and I was like, "There's like Keenan's going to be on a pitch count, you know." Mike Williams like back. Of course, Mike Williams goes up, makes a ridiculous catch, comes down, fucking hurt. Just out like of here. That, just like in that uh, heart heart hits <laughs> tweet where it's like some lady Jumps falling the, from the, the second catwalk story, <laughs> <laughs> falls and collapses, and it's like. Every time Mike Williams goes up to catch a ball. And Thud. Great, great play there. And then goes out, re-aggravates that Wait, you were talking about how much you love Mike Williams? He was just saying that he played him. I was saying that I played him over you also, Keenan. You also, you're Keenan probably also a big Mike Williams count. guy. Yeah, he likes Mike. I mean, go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. <laughs> no, that's LSU Tigers. That's not saying. That's it not, is. Oh, I didn't know that. It's not, uh, it's not. You're not. You're not uh, doing me a solid by saying that. Is all I don't I want think you wanted to. Do. Know. Um, Sky Moore, baby, six, six, six for five or six targets, five receptions, sixty-three yards. It only took three injuries. Let's go. <laughs> um, he, he was flashing a little bit, a little Sky Moore. Yeah, but Josh flash. Palmer was really what I wanted to talk about here. Obviously, you can't trade for him this week. Um, big. 30 big, big points week. with Mike Dub back for a play and Keenan back for seven plays, all targets, catches. Got out there, got a lot of run to begin the season and, and was was fine. Um, but he's certainly not a, a Batman, but he I think he can rob the shit out of this out of this team. And now he's been out there. He's been doing a lot of different things. He's got some time with Herbert. So, um, you know, Josh a, Palmer is, an, is, a, is a really interesting offseason value here. Um, and I think it could go up half decent if especially if they get another receiver you know i don't know what the deal with keenan allen is if he'll stick around he is old. Um, i don't know what his contract is i know they just re-signed oh, mike dub keenan's gonna be there next year i feel sure. like palmer on the field with either keenan or mike williams is is very beneficial for him um some people but not, say but that's not both hogwash i think it's fine with both too i mean i think that they need to be a passing team, man. That's what they do. That's what you got. You got you got yeah. one of the better quarterbacks in the league and, and you know, Palmer's been decent. So and the thing about Palmer is just the value's tough right now, so I don't really know, but I just like his versatility. I mean, yeah, the value yeah, you can't trade for him after thirty one points or whatever, but to the ver- you're seeing like everything you wanted out of Josh Palmer. Like he's got the versatility, you can throw it to him short and he's pretty dirty after the catch, but now he's busting off big ass plays. Because you got to worry about Keenan. Like, Keenan's a force out there. They say he's got the voodoo. Like, he just gets yeah. open. And he looked pretty good. They had him on a snap oh, count, Keenan but he good. looked fucking awesome. Keenan was good, man. He's got 6.9 dead next year on his uh, – so Yeah, like I'm, he's I'm not sure going if he wants anywhere. to play, he's playing for them. If going he's into got, his age 31 contract. season. He's um, fine. He's not a speed guy, so he'll be fine. We'll see. We'll see what happens with with the Palmer value. Just something I wanted to bring up and mention him, give him give him some love. But you know, I don't think you can trade a two right now for Palmer. I think that seems like it's a little bit much. Yeah, um, that's, that'd be a bit egregious. So he seems to like he's trade kind of, the two. You think that wouldn't get it? That no, I, I think. Oh, that, that'd I get think it done. That would, I think that would get that it would, done for sure. That I just, would get it done in trades for Josh Palmer. I, I would Hartman. assume so. Um, it just seems like it's too much right now. Like, yeah, you need to find a way to balance that out. Um, I think if you're going to start sending offers, don't do it this week. Um, but. There's a, there's fun potential there, um, and and you know, potential you know startability that isn't awesome, and then potential high level startability um, moving a, a year or two down the line here. So um, just wanted to give him some love there. Got Isaiah Spiller run a little bit, but wasn't great. Um, so Chargers, man, just one of those teams can't quite get go. Over the, Chargers go. Can't quite get it right. Can't quite get over the hump. 
but it seems like it's always right freaking there. Um, really wanted them to get the Chiefs here, but it didn't happen. So yeah, I mean it's tough to beat the Chiefs. You know, the boys are just too much wizards. time for Mahomes. Like they there was play there was plays where like they would get the sack. Usually like a sack on any team, any drive, you're probably not gonna you're gonna be punting when there's yeah. a sack. The stats I think are pretty much in favor of that. But like when you're watching the Chiefs, like. First and 20, second and 21, it, like, doesn't matter. They just pick yeah, it up, whatever they want to pick up. You're always on edge, man. Always and on edge wild. with it's wild. So, the, so the, I thought, I mean, they played really well. And they're still in the thick of it, right? They're, like, what, five and six now, maybe? Five and th- five. They're well, five and... Well, that, this doesn't have their record. Right. I think that they, I think they, they were five, five and five. And, six. and But, like, that's right there in the thick of it. Like, you yeah. know, they could still certainly well, the put Broncos it... the Broncos and the... And they've and been the playing without Bosa. Raiders are terrible. So. Yeah. Right. They've been playing without Bosa. But there is other good teams in the AFC, so. Yeah. I feel like they're probably, I mean, it's still a lot of season to be played yeah, here. Yeah, nice like, little chunk. How about Jimmy G to the Jets next year? Well, who says no? Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Why would he say no? I don't know. They got the ties. They got all the ties, baby. Got weapons. Got all, got all the weapons. Got He's good in New England. Like in that area, guys, they like him. They guy's love him. handsome. Definitely handsome. Would look great. Would look great on the back page of the New York Daily News. I don't know. It seems like seems like the Jets. Sala might just want to. S- they're not going to be in contention to buy a quarterback. Um, I don't know what their pick situation is. If they have any mean? other picks, but um, yeah, I mean they're going to have to probably get a veteran if they want to move on or or sell a sell out to get a quarter move way up. But I don't I don't know that there's anybody. They just that, did that, <laughs> right? Which I'm fine with. You know, take your. Everyone's going to be mad at you if you don't have a quarterback, and so take your fucking shots. Uh, you yeah. Know. <laughs> Whatever. I'm, yeah, and it's totally justifiable. But just, I think you bring you bring a stable, jumping. you know, quarterback who's a, a little bit better than Joe Flacco in there, and you could be, you know, a pretty pretty hard, tough team to beat. Well, it so. seems like that's their biggest bugaboo right now is quarterback. Yeah. Just a decent amount of talent, and the defense is fucking good. So they should not have lost that game. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I don't, I don't care about that call at the end. I don't think he was gonna make the tackle necessarily, and I, no. it was borderline. Like I don't, I'm not upset about that. That was a ridiculous run. They, they, they probably should have punted out of bounds or whatever. But that, that was a wild finish to a three-three game. I think I saw just crazy. Yeah, I think I saw that uh, the Jets averaged two point seven inches per play in the second half of that game. <laughs> I will <laughs> miss Dynasty Twitter for those little nuggets if Twitter goes away. Really hard on the Twitter going away tonight. It's I it's not going anywhere. Just r- I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, get us out of here. I got to pee. We're done? Yeah. Yeah, that Just was like the last that? game. Let's talk more about Twitter. Hey, you got to remind them. I, th- I did it already. You're up. <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing. I appreciate y'all for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> You know, do all the things. Let me get that uh, five star review. Say it with the chest. Let me get that five star review. You gotta talk to him like it's your dog. Hey! Give me the review! Do it! Smash that button! We got winners! We got winners! Or Stu Finer it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stu. Go check out some of that short clips. It's worth, I don't know. At first, it's like, what the fuck am I listening to? But then. <laughs> you gotta learn to love the Ridiculous! Guy. A lot of yelling, a lot of yelling. Some o- <laughs> some OG stews, pretty solid. Uh, but out of control. Was, was that him and like Jimmy the Greek or whatever? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they were together, but possibly. Uh, but appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving, and uh, we'll be back here with more episodes of Married to the Game. Peace. <laughs>